another curriculum burst? This is an interesting question from the grade 12 exam. It goes as follows. The segment through the focus F of a parabola with vertex V is perpendicular to FV, the line segment, I guess, and intersects the parabola in points A and B. What's the cosine of angle AVB? Oh gosh, that was a lot to take in. Okay, first of all, as I read this question, I see it's really about a parabola. And it seems natural to me to do a very natural step, is draw a picture. Strategy number four, always draw a picture if you can. So we'll have to do that here. But the question seems scary. So what I'm going to do here is just, you know, to honor my motion. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But I'm going to engage in successful flailing. Strategy number one, just do something, see where it goes. And the way to flail successfully is to basically list everything you know as you go along. So I can read this question. I'm a little bit scared of it. That's my own honest emotional reaction here. But I see it's about a parabola. Step number one, what is a parabola? Now, in an advanced geometry class, you learn that a parabola is created by a point, F, or the focus, and a line, the directrix. And it's defined to be the set of all points equidistant from this focus and this line, the directrix. So it turns out to be some curve like this. And what I mean by equidistant, just be clear, just listing everything I know about parabolas, any point here on the curve is the property that's distance from F equals its distance from the line. And what I mean by distance from the line, coming down perpendicular to the line. That length will equal that length. That brings a little bit off, but that's okay. All right. So I see this question. It scares me. But I know it's about a parabola. I've just listed some basic things on that about a parabola. Let's go through the question again. A segment through the focus F, focus F, yep, of a parabola, yep, got the parabola, with vertex V, or oh, let me label vertex V. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm just going to note V is on the parabola, therefore its distance from F is the same as distance from the line. In fact, if I drew this line right down, it comes down to 90 degrees, I've just learned this length equals that length. I don't know if I need that or not, but I'm just marking stuff I know. Uh, focus F, vertex V, this line, FV, is perpendicular. Oh, it's, sorry, is a line perpendicular to line, ooh, there's another line through F that's perpendicular to FV that intersects the parabola at two points A and B. Gosh, so I just, uh, I know I didn't read that very well, but did I actually get it correct in the end? So there's a line segment through F perpendicular to FV intersecting the parabola at two points A and B. All right, all right, that's the picture for the question. <sighs> okay, what am I doing in the question again? I've lost sight. Uh, last sentence. What is the cosine of angle AVB? Oh my goodness, this seems very freaky. Angle AVB. First of all, let me identify where that is. Uh, angle from A to V. So A to V is there, and from V to B is there. So apparently this question is asking for the cosine of this angle twixt AV and VB. Alright, yes, I am scared. This question's really actually got given me the willies. What am I going to do? Oh, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but let's continue flailing. Let's just do something. Um, go back to the basics. B is on the parabola. So what does that mean? Its distance from its focus, I'll call that R, say, is the same as its distance from the line. So if I come down 90 degrees to the line, that must also be R. Flailing. Don't know what I'm doing. Uh, point A. Also its distance from the focus, I'll call that S, must be the same as its distance from the line. Also call that S, then. Great. Oh, still stuck. What am I going to do? Well, you know, I've probably sit, put my feet up on the table and stare at this for a while and just have an inspiration, but actually, I can see an inspiration right now. Look at this shape, this quadrilateral right here on this half of the picture. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. This must be 90 degrees as well. This is a rectangle. Actually, length R, length R, this is really a square. Oh, that seems handy. And also, the same is true over here. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. This is actually a rectangle, but in fact, with the S and S here, that's also a square. And the whole big shape is actually a rectangle. Lots of 90 degrees everywhere and opposite sides are the same length, which case that tells me R and S are the same value. So that's R, that's also R. And actually, if things are falling into place, that must also be R, and since this is cut at the midpoint, that must be half of R, half of R. I now feel like I've got some handle on this, these diagonal lines right here. They're part of a triangle, length R and half of R. I want the cosine of this angle. So maybe this approach here, maybe we'll work out cosine of this angle and use some double angle formula from trigonometry but just double it some way. Or maybe I can look at this triangle which is 2r with an altitude of half r and use something like, I don't know, the law of cosines. I'm just putting out random ideas of how I might get to that angle. But now I've got a line of attack on this problem. I feel like if I just try stuff I might actually get somewhere. So I'm going to invite you to try various stuff right now. Take this picture knowing you've got squares plonked on it 
and see if you can indeed work out some information about this particular angle here. Now you can check your answer by going to the essay, covering this video if you like, and if you get stuck, feel free to look at the essay as well. But it's actually kind of fun. Go for it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.